Hey lovely brides, it's Jennifer Dean from mindbodybride.com and you're joining me today for a quick little booty burn workout. So this is a lot of fun, it's a lot of burn, so grab a pair of lightweights and let's do it to it. Start on hands and knees on your yoga mat. Take a pair of light weights, either three or five pounds, and place one weight behind your left kneecap and hold the other weight in your right hand. Starting with 15 donkey kicks with an elbow extension. Really think of squeezing your heel towards your backside to engage your hamstring. If you notice any shoulder or elbow tension with that arm that is extending, just get rid of the weight and do the move without any added weight. Pull your abdominals up to support your back and try not to sink into that left hand as you're pressing it down onto the earth. This next one is number 15, so place the right hand weight down and begin fire hydrants for 15 repetitions. Can you try and do this without letting your pelvis move all over the place? So you're moving your thigh bone in isolation of your hip. The back of the neck is long and the abs are still pulled up. From here, remove the weight from the back of the knee and place both weights on the floor holding at the end. Come into a deep lunge with that left knee and then tap and extend the right leg in and out. As you bring the right toes up to the left ankle, hardly touch the floor, so you're weight bearing in the left leg only. Pull up your abs a lot and slightly round your low spine and see how little pressure you can place into your hands. This time stay in that back lunge and bring the weights up for some tricep extensions in a nice deep runner's lunge. Keep the weight in the heel of the left foot rather than the toes and that's gonna protect your knee. The shoulders draw down and of course I'll say it again, the belly is still pulled in. It's so cool that you can actually get an abdominal exercise even when you're focusing on working your arms and your legs. I know that leg is burning, we just have one more exercise, so step up and bring the feet together. This is a lateral lunge with an abduction. So you bend the left knee into a lateral lunge and you slightly pitch the body forward as you sweep the right knee up to hip height. Notice in that forward bend that my shoulders are staying higher than my hips and that's gonna keep the low back safe. Try not to fling the right leg as it lifts, but think of floating it up and controlling it down. Since you get that mini rest in between repetitions, it does give you time to reset and focus on your form. Here's 13, 14, one more time. 15 and rest. Roll your shoulders back and down and let's turn around and start this whole sequence on the other side. How's your booty feeling? So place the weight behind the right knee and hold it in the left hand, beginning with those 15 donkey kicks. Keeping in mind that the closer you pull your heel to your backside, the more you're going to engage the glute and the hamstring. And remember that if the elbow or the shoulder on the left side is under tension, just get rid of the weight and reach the arm forward without any added weight. Here's your last three, two, one. Place the hand weight down, go into fire hydrants for 15 repetitions. Keeping the pelvis nice and steady and trying to lift that knee up to hip height if you can. Notice if you're sinking into your wrists or dumping into your wrists. Push the earth away from you and use the muscles of the mid back and the abdominals to help support you in this quadricep position. As you lower the knee, remove the weight and place the ends of both weights on the floor. The right foot steps forward, coming into your low lunge and then a little tap as you come forward into the crouch. Try and stay as low as you can in your right knee as you just tap that left toe up towards your right ankle. Let's take one more and then step back into that deep lunge where you'll stay. Tricep extensions, press the weights into each other. That's gonna activate the tricep a little bit more by having that resistance. Notice my spine is forward on a slight diagonal. The abs are pulled in to support yourself in extension and the weight is in the heel of the right foot. So you should be able to wiggle around your right toes. 
Think of drawing the right hip bone back behind you a little more to engage the muscles of the outer thigh. And this one's 15, so let's stand all the way up and turn and face front for those lateral lunges with an abduction. Deeply bending the right knee as you slide that left leg up to hip height and then standing tall to transfer the weight briefly in a mini rest. Again, the shoulders are higher than the pelvis and I want you to sink a little deeper into the right knee than you think you can by pressing your backside out behind you. This is your last five reps and then you're all done with this booty burn sequence. And take one more beautiful abduction and then stand tall, roll your shoulders back and down and you're all finished. I'm Jennifer Dean from Mind Body Bride. Thank you so much for joining me for this week's workout and I look forward to seeing you next time.